Nearly three decades, you invited Frank Davis and his wife, Mary Claire, into your home. Every Tuesday morning, they stood right here, whipping up great food in a way that made us all feel like we were part of his family. Now, as Frank deals with a serious illness, he's inviting you into his home to show you the battle he's waging. And as Meg Ferris reports, Frank's unique spirit is pushing him to fight back. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. You know him as the man who loves food. So you got the plan, right? You know how to catch them like this this weekend? And fishing. You didn't figure the fat cat could do that, huh? <laughs> and fun. Frank Davis has always said he had the best job. Most people were tired just to do all the things he Watch. did at work. When someone says, what do you want to be when you grow up? The first answer would be, I want to be happy. So why would the man whose feet were firmly planted in what he calls the gumbo mud of southeast Louisiana not only retire, but leave his beloved sportsman's paradise for the Lone Star State? This takes so much focus and concentration. All the things that you take for granted yes. when there's nothing wrong with you. Frank is just trying to sit up, something he cannot do. A year and a half ago, Frank sensed something was not right. I started having trouble tying my fishing knots. I had trouble chopping my celery and my onions. He thought stumbling problems, getting in boats and trouble stirring pots was a sign of age. Doctors said the numbness tingling was diabetic neuropathy, nerve damage from high blood sugar. But he and Mary Claire, his wife of 45 years, began to see serious changes. Their daughter in Houston said she and her husband and four children wanted to care for them. But after losing everything in Katrina and building their dream home in Slidell, they didn't want to go. Let me tell you, there was a certain degree of fear built into that decision. That decision would be a blessing in disguise. While they were leaving beloved friends and a community that adored him, they met Dr. Aziz Shabani, director of the Nerve and Muscle Center of Texas a neurologist who specializes in neuromuscular diseases. I think his disease is uh, severe and it is serious. Dr. Shabani diagnosed Frank with a rare illness called CIDP, <laughs> chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, an autoimmune disease that can happen at any age. For some unknown reason, Frank's immune system started attacking and destroying his nerves and the coating around them as if they were invading germs. His brain is fine, but its signals to move his muscles are interrupted. Sometimes an immune reaction is triggered by a virus. Most of the times we do not identify a specific trigger factor. Uh, because it can be anything uh, from stress to food to exposure to environmental agents. CIDP is rare, so can often be misdiagnosed. Had it been found earlier, chances of recovery would have been much better. Instead, Frank went from a cane one week to a walker the next, a wheelchair, and then now to this bed in his home. All in the past month. Get a hamburger. <laughs> I think you've earned a hamburger. How about a chocolate malt? <laughs> Frank makes everyone laugh during treatment. His good nature in the face of adversity is one reason physical therapist Mandy Hester volunteers her time. Insurance cut off her treatment, saying progress was too slow. She and Dr. Shabani know it helps his nerves. His fun-loving character can also help recovery. I'm inspired by the optimism of Frank. Uh, he is very infectious in his uh, uh, optimism, and uh, he is amazing in his ability to cope with this disease. But at times, even Frank is overwhelmed. Emotionally, because basically it's, it's Frank Davis's personality and brain trapped in a body that's not working. Exactly right. Some days I want to I say, hey, hip, hip, hooray, I'm going to be fine. And then 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock that night, when I'm laying here in the dark watching the cars go up and down the street, I just want to throw it all in the air and say, to hell with it. Frank and his doctor are encouraged by some progress. He can now lift his left arm some and contract the muscle in the other. The port is for regular treatments to suppress his immune system. Blood plasma exchanges help eliminate antibodies. CIDP has taken away 70 pounds of muscle. Treatment has taken away his thick, wavy, salt-and-pepper Sicilian hair. And he said, 
Don't worry about it. You're retired from television. You don't need hair anymore. So now I'm going to look like Mr. Clean. The nerves and their insulation can regenerate. Best case, Dr. Shabani says Frank could get 50 to 70 percent of his strength back. But it could take two years for nerves to grow back. He could stand and use his arms. I'll take what I can get, okay? Because I sure don't want to live the rest of my life like this. Worst case, because of all the side effects, health complications from the treatment, such as infections, Frank could take a turn for the worse. I would like to get Frank uh, to get back to his favorite activities of fishing and uh, cooking as soon as possible. He and Mary Claire have put their bucket list on hold. Instead of all the travel they had saved for, they watch the Travel Channel and see their savings drained by medical bills. But for this couple, who never let a day go by without saying, I love you, their commitment has grown. You would be talking to a corpse right here if it wasn't for Mom Mary Claire. All right? We still can communicate as much as we did before and love for each other. It, it, it gets stronger. And I'm always going to be there for him. The way you have a marriage survive over these years, you, whatever happens, you say, yes, dear. You can't get in trouble that way, okay? Frank loves talking to old friends about fishing. It takes his mind back to the people and places he misses. As for technology helping him, his daughter got him a computer app for dictating email messages. But Frank is having no part of it. It doesn't speak New Orleans and it doesn't speak Cajun. It speaks profanity and porn. Okay, that's all it speaks. You, you say, send me some sauce because, and it says, send me a sexy babe. I didn't say nothing about that. Frank has led an active life, working since he was 14. He's been a musician, x-ray tech, even wrestled alligators, moving them for a conservation program. But he's also had the heart to conquer bypass surgery, diabetes, and kidney cancer. He plans to win again and come home. That's why, deep in the heart of Texas, you'll find one driveway, only one, that's naturally Nolens. From Houston, Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News. Frank is the best, and he would love to hear from you, so we have put up a post on Facebook for you to message him, and you can click like to wish him well.